Hey everyone, this is Allison Lee from CraftCast.com here to talk to you today about the top five mistakes that keep your work from standing out in the crowd. Number one, knowing how to take care of your talent. Feeling good about your work is key. Uh, how you feel about your work is will naturally be projected out to others. So here's a quick exercise. Think of someone else's work that you really admire and pretend you're selling their work. How does that feel? That's the confidence you want to project about your own art. That's what's going to be going out there and making your work stand out in the crowd. Number two, consistency in your style. Your work stands out when people recognize your style. It's a, it's a, it's a comfort level for your customers. They know you and they know that they can count on loving your work. Uh, once you have that comfort level, with your clientele, then they're open to something new you might be adding, a new direction that you might be taking. I like to think of it as going out to my favorite restaurant and ordering of my favorite pasta and knowing I can count on it. Of course, I know there'll be specials and I'm always going to check those out as well. <laughs> Number three, tell a story with your work. Everyone wants to know a bit of history behind the work. It pulls you in and your customers are buying the whole package, you know, your work, your art, and the story behind it. So what's the story that you want to tell? I know for me, I love going to uh, a perfume bar in New York City called Le Labo, and I get pulled right in to reading about each scent. Uh, it's like reading a fabulous romance novel. And combine that with the great smells and the way they package it, I feel like uh, they've made that scent just for me, even though I, I know anyone can order it online. <laughs> and here's the thing, anyone who comments about my scent, they hear the whole story as well. Number four, Keep in touch with your customers. People who love your work want to know what you're up to. Uh, so don't forget to collect all those email addresses and keep in touch with updates and pictures. And make it clear that these are relationships that you care about with your customers. Um, it makes them feel special, plus they love having a relationship with an artist. Number five, get published. I know what you're thinking, easier said than done, but here's the thing about that. How many times when you see someone else's work in a magazine, either print or online, do you say, well, my work's just as good as that? Well, I'm sure it is. So here's really the true difference about that. The people who are in magazines focused on getting that PR work done. They worked behind the scenes. They did the groundwork to get all that done. So set your sites where you would like to see your work published and do the homework. Find out exactly what it takes uh, to get into those pages somehow. And remember, this is really important, remember that both um, online magazines and print, they need you. They need to fill content uh, for their pages, so go for it. I'm Allison Lee from CraftCast.com, and you can find lots more information and video recordings for you, the artist, over at www.craftcast.com.